Today, I, my topic is MOBSs. Uh, the causative agent of MOBSs is Antamoeba histolytica. This disease is caused by protozoan uh, called as Antamoeba histolytica. It lives as endoparasite in the upper part of the large intestine, colon of man. It lives in the upper part of the uh, large intestine. Simply, we can say the large intestine also called as colon. And amoeba histolytica has two forms, minute form and mega form. It has a single blunt pseudopodium called pseudopodia, labopodia. It is, it is pseudopodia, it is called as labopodia. Labopodia secretes enzyme histolysin. Here we can come, this is the pseudopodia of this interamoeba. This is called a labopodium. Uh, this labopodium, this secretes an enzyme that is called histolysin. This histolysin dissolves the walls of the intestine. How? This, intestine, this enzyme uh, causes ulcers in the intestine by dissolving the walls of the intestine. Uh, then hap what happens there? Blood comes out from the walls of this intestine. This causes ulcers. Parasite feeds on RBCs. This intermeva feeds on the RBCs of the blood of man. An intestine parasite becomes spherical and secretes a cyst around it. It becomes a ball-like structure, small structure, and develops a cyst around it. These cysts passes out with the stools of the patient. This is called amoebic dysentery. The patient passes out the stools. These stools are uh, having blood, uh, blood, blood with the, in these stools. These are called blood stools. And this uh, disease is called amoebic dysentery. The infection to the fresh host ca causes through the agency of infected water and food. Uh, on reaching the host to the cyst ruptures and cordary nucleate stage comes out. It divides by binary fission into light minute forms which grow into trophic forms and repeat the cycle. Here what happens? This antimoeba histolytica, it forms a cyst in the intestine. Intestine may a cyst jaysa banata, wall jaysa banata, ball jaysi banti hai. Is ball may a antimoeba hota hai, is may char nucleus hote hai. जब ये फीसे से बाहर निकलता है सुटोलो से बाहर निकलता है तो फिर जब ये होस्ट के पास पहुंच जाता है दूसरे होस्ट के पास पहुंच जाता है दूसरे इंसान के पास पहुंच जाता है फूड के जरिए वाटर के जरिए तो वहां पर ये ब्रेक हो जाता है चार न्यूक्लियस निकलते हैं इसमें और चार न्यूक्लियस चार ऑर्गेनिज्म में चार एंटीएमीबा में बन जाते हैं इसके नाउ वी विल सी पैथोजेनेसिटी क्या-क्या बीमारियां इससे लग जाती है एमेबिक डिसेंट्री एक डिजीज है जिससे जो इससे फैलती है एंटेमेबा से एंटेमेबा काजेस अ डिजीज कॉल्ड एमेबिक डिसेंट एमोबेसिस और एमेबिक डिसेंट्री इट इज काजेड बाय हिस्टोलाइसिन व्हिच सिक्रेटस बाय एंटेमेबा एंटेमेबा हिस्टोलिटिका इन इंटेस्टाइन सिक्रेटस द Secret is an enzyme, histolysin. Histolysin dissolves the walls of the intestine and results in the ulcers. Uh, these ulcers, and due to these ulcers, a loss of blood takes place. This loss of blood with the stools, this is called amoebic dysentery. When there occurs the loss of blood, it causes gripping pain in the abdomen of the patient. And when there is loss of blood, it, causes, it leads to anemia. It leads to the shortage of blood. The next disease which is caused by the antimoeba histolytica, this is called hepatic amoebiasis. Sometimes this, this protozoan, this pathogen reaches to liver where it causes abscess and ulcers. It causes abscess of liver. It causes inflammation of liver. And black ring appears around the eyes. This condition is called sallow. This, this is this is a by character uh, characterized by a ring like structure around the eyes this this this, this condition is called solo here also sometimes rupture of liver takes place uh, third is the pulmonary amoebiasis sometimes the this antimoeba reaches to the lungs by blood wire it dissolves alveoli and air sacs there are small air sacs in the lungs 
these are called air sacs or alveoli uh, the septum of the patient contains blood and tissue this is called acute bronchitis what happens here it ruptures the alveoli and bleeding occurs there this blood comes out through the septum of the patient uh, this septum contains blood and tissue this is called a, an acute bronchitis Number fourth disease, which is caused by this antimeba histolytica, that is called capillary amebiasis. Sometimes antimeba blocks the blood capillaries. Sometimes it blocks the capillaries. It jams the capillaries. This disease, this dissolves the walls of capillaries and causes hemorrhage. When it breaks the walls of the capillaries, this is called hemorrhage, blood hemorrhage. How now? Now treatment and prevention. How this disease is treated and what is the prevention of the disease? This disease is treated by drugs like metronidazole and tenodazole. This is two drugs for this treatment. That is metronidazole and tenodazole. Now preventive measures. And how can we prevent this disease from getting infected? How can we prevent this disease from getting infected? How can we prevent this disease from getting infected? This disease is prevented by proper disposal of stools. This is why we need proper stools. We need to do outfication. We need to do outfication. एक प्रॉपर डिस्पोजल ऑफ सुटोल होना चाहिए फ्लश सिस्टम होना चाहिए एंड सिटिलाइजेशन ऑफ वाटर वेजिटेबल्स एंड अदर फूड आइटम्स द फूड आइटम्स वी टेक फॉर एग्जांपल वाटर वी टेक वेजिटेबल्स वी टेक एंड अदर फूड आइटम्स वी टेक वी शुड सिटिलाइज दिस फूड आइटम्स दिस वाज ऑल अबाउट द एंटीमेबा हिस्टोरिका और द एमओवीएसिस दैट इज ऑल थैंक्स